Hey guys, welcome back. I wasn't really planning on this video, but something happened and I figured it would be a good opportunity uh, to show how to do some maintenance on a Pan World AC pump. This is the pump that I use for my saltwater mixing station, uh, which is right over here. And I was going to mix up some salt water today. So this is my fresh water tank, uh, the RO water. And I drain it down into here. Anyway, got the water into here, went to turn on my pump you know, with one of my switches. And I just heard the pump making a weird noise uh, that it's not, that it doesn't normally make. Um, so I knew something was wrong with the pump. So I needed to take it off uh, and see what the heck was going on. And you know, let me just say this a good opportunity to remind you, use unions <laughs> when you set up your plumbing with your fish tank stuff, uh, that really saved me right now because I need to get that pump off of there. And I had a whole barrel full of water, um, which I need to, well, I would have needed to you know, do something with. Uh, but luckily I had unions and some shutoff valves. I was able to isolate the pump uh, from the system, unscrew it, and do what I needed to do with it. Um, so yeah, so I got my pump off and I need to take a look at it. And these are pretty simple. Uh, they're actually really <laughs> good design. I like how they do this. So there's a cap on here. I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm doing all, all with one hand. Uh, but this cap is on top of here, you know, which is connects to all of your plumbing. That's held on with six screws, just Phillips head screws. So I took the cap off. Uh, which gets me, you know, into here to see the impeller. Um, and then, you know, this also comes off as well. So I got all of this off and I took a look at the pump and the magnet is right here. And this is what's actually spinning when you, know, you turn on the power. And this was all fine. I could hear this part spinning like really fast, you know, when I had it on. Uh, but no water was pumping out of the thing. So now I'm looking at this. And this is you know, normally screwed onto there, and this impeller spins with that magnet. This wasn't spinning. This was completely seized up. Um, yeah, so that was, I could immediately tell something was wrong, because this is supposed to spin. You know, this magnet you know, forces this impeller to spin with it, but it wasn't going anywhere. And I really had a hard time getting this out of there, and it's still kind of stuck. Uh, but... As you can see inside of there, there's that ceramic shaft. Uh, there was all sorts of crud built up behind uh, the impeller here. And it was just all caked up and preventing the impeller from spinning as it should. Um, now, just a disclaimer, this is my saltwater mixing pump. And I haven't opened this up or cleaned it ever. I've been using it for, I don't know, four years or something like that. And I do weekly or bi-weekly water changes. I mix reef crystal salt, which you all know gives you that lovely uh, brown film, which you probably saw in my mixing bucket over there. I do need to clean that out as well. Uh, but over the years, it's just had a bunch of junk build up uh, inside of here. I didn't even expect that. I figured, hey, it's you know clean water. Um, don't really have to worry about it, but no, you certainly do. And if you get into a situation where your pump is not spinning, I'll take it apart and look you know, back in there and you'll probably see something similar. So what do I need to do? I got to get this all cleaned up. And the easiest way is to soak it in some vinegar. So I just got some uh, distilled white vinegar here. Get this at any grocery store. And we're just going to fill this up. Not fill it up, but just put a decent amount of vinegar in there. It's probably more than I need. And I'll just fill it up with some hot water. All right, so that's all covered up. Um, I'm just going to let that soak for a little while and then use my little scrub brush. See if I can scrape all that stuff off of there. Uh, get it working like new again. And I'll put it back together. And we'll see how she works. And I don't know if you could see that, but... Uh, the vinegar is like a weak acid, and that buildup was probably some sort of calcium carbonate 
deposit, uh, you know, from the from the salt. And you could see the bubbles all forming around and eating, you know, basically the vinegar or the acid is eating away at the calcium carbonate. Um, and that's going to allow it, allow me to get that off of there uh, much easier because it's stuck on there really good. So we'll let that go for a little while and that should just flake right off uh, once, once it's done doing what it needs to do. All right, so while that is soaking, I think now would be a good opportunity to talk about um, you know, preventative maintenance. Uh, every piece of equipment on your aquarium, I don't care how much money you spend on it, how awesome the brand is, everything will fail sooner or later. Uh, the idea is we'd rather tip the scales and make it later rather than sooner. Uh, the best way to do that is just with some regular maintenance and you know, preventive maintenance. Uh, so what I do is you know, I like to use my Neptune Apex system here um, for my main tank. And this has uh, a nice scheduling feature in here. So it's got a nice calendar where you could schedule events um, on here. Uh, or you could view it as a list view. <clears throat> and all of the equipment that I know that I need to you know, maintain. And I would even suggest put all of your equipment on here. I just, you know... I don't have everything on here. I really should add a few more things. Uh, but as I come across, you know, piece of equipment that I know I need attention or have been problematic in the past, uh, I make a little entry in here. You know, for instance, uh, my RW8 circulation pumps. And I will just set myself a reminder. So every four months, I go in there, I take those pumps completely apart, I give them a good thorough cleaning and put them back into service. Um, and you'll start to figure out, you know, what the right uh, schedule is for you. Um, again, here my skimmer. Every six months, I completely take it apart, take the pump apart, clean it out. And you may um, open it up and see and say, hey, you know, everything looks fine. Um, no, instead of every six months, do it every, you know, 12 months. Uh, if 12 months seems too long, you back it down to eight months. And you'll find that, you know, sweet spot where, you know, that's the right amount of time, you know, for you. Uh, there are other things like, uh, you know, my UV bulb. Uh, the manufacturer recommends every 13 months. So that's what I do. I replace it every 13 months. Uh, but as far as you know, the pumps and everything, uh, I do go in there. And I've just added a new entry for my mixing station pump, uh, which I'm going to check it again in 18 months. So that thing ran for about uh, three to four years. I, I forget how long I've had that thing in there. Uh, but it finally seized up on me. I should have been in there to clean that a long time ago. I didn't. You know, in a year and a half from now, I'll open it up, take a look. Uh, if it seems like that's the right amount of time, great. If it seems like I should have been in there you know, much earlier, I'll bump it down to 12 months. Um, you know, to the next time I, I take it apart and clean it. And, you know, that's basically what I do uh, to maintain my equipment. And, you know, if you don't have the Neptune Apex, I mean... Every computer has some sort of calendar in it. Um, you know, use your Outlook, uh, iPhone, you know, whatever you're using. Even put it into a piece of paper. Um, just write it down and, you know, wherever you record all of the rest of your stuff. And just so you know, you know, write down the last time you did something. And then you'll be surprised at how quick the time goes by. And you think you just did it yesterday. And it'll be, you know, six, eight months ago. So anyway, that, that's uh, what I've been doing. And I'm going to go downstairs and I'll check out uh, that pump and we'll see you know, how the vinegar did. All right, so I didn't get a chance to uh, look at this until the next day. But I've come down here and after some time soaking in the vinegar, you can see everything is pretty much dissolved off of there. All of that uh, you know, the calcium deposits that were on there have completely dissolved. I'm just going to give it a nice uh, quick scrub with my little brush here. But I think we're in pretty good shape now. This thing looks pretty clean. Vinegar did its trick or did its job. Um, so I'm going to just clean that up a little bit more, put it back together, and let's get it back on the system and see how it's working. So there's the pump reassembled. Got everything plumbed back where it should be. And let's uh, turn it on and see if it's working.
There we have it. Pump is working again. That went from completely seized up to doing its job again. Uh, just by giving it that nice vinegar bath and doing the maintenance that I should have been doing a long time ago. So that's about it for today, guys. I want to thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.